gorgeous. Happy 19th, baby. It's stunning. Just like you. Bronson and Jennings, the pharmaceutical company. They're selling at 25. Come Monday, it's half that. Now you have my attention. What the hell's going on? This is all Howard. We are not guilty in any way. I do believe that you are not fully aware of your husband's activities. Therefore, I endorse your plea to 100 hours of community service effective immediately. Welcome to the Beacon for the Blind. For the visually impaired, feeling is seeing. So don't be alarmed if he touches you. Suzanne Dutchman. Tough name to carry around these days, I'm sorry. He's my husband. Well, I'm sure he's nice once you get to know him. There was nothing to be ashamed of. She recalled the ball and- Hold on. This is the most important moment in the book. This is the moment that Anna realizes that she can no longer go on bullshitting herself, that she's happy with her life. You either have to make the terrifying change that will alter your life in ways you can't imagine. Or? To live out the rest of your days drowning in that familiar security. Well, at night, your dreams are filled with love you've never tasted. When was the last time you were with a woman? That's it's my wife. You must have dinner with me tonight, and I'll take you to Paris. May I ask you a question? What do you look like? Why don't you see for yourself? I can see that you're beautiful. I want to see the way that you see. What do I have to do to keep the one uncorrupted thing left in my life? Be soaked in the intoxication of her scent before diving headfirst into her holiness. Do not see Suzanne again. I don't know what this is anymore. Please come back. Everyone makes mistakes. Once you cross that line... Suzanne! Your dreams are filled with feasts you never touched, love you never tasted. Something has to change.